All right. Many of you have asked us for a video about the Bermuda Triangle, so here we are to shed some light on one of the most famous urban legends of all time. Let's see together where the myth of the Bermuda Triangle comes from, whether it's all a hoax or if there's some scientific truth to this story. Keep your eyes and ears open. The Bermuda Triangle is a vast area of sea spanning over a million square kilometers, enclosed between three geographical points. Its northern vertex is represented by Bermuda, the main island of the archipelago. The southern vertex is the easternmost point of the island of Puerto Rico in the Caribbean, and the western vertex is the southernmost point of the Florida Peninsula in the United States. Since the 1950s, it has become famous in popular culture as the Devil's Triangle, due to numerous episodes of ships and airplanes disappearing over the last 200 years. One particular case that gave birth to the actual myth is that of Flight 19, a group of five U.S. Navy bombers that disappeared on December 5, 1945, during a routine exercise. But why do ships and airplanes disappear in this area specifically? Let's understand where we are. We are in an area of the Atlantic Ocean characterized by rather extreme meteorological events, where hurricanes originate and then strike the islands of the Caribbean and the southern coast of the United States with often disastrous consequences. The Gulf Stream passing through here, as you know, is among the main causes of these disturbances since the high surface water temperature, about 26 degrees Celsius, allows the rise of vast masses of warm air that generate hurricanes. For this reason, encountering storms in open sea with waves that can reach even tens of meters in height is quite common. To this scientific component, we must add a historical one. This part of the ocean, since the discovery of America onwards, has always been heavily trafficked by merchant ships, but also by commercial flights from Europe, which 60 years ago were quite a dangerous novelty. They required a refueling stop in the Azores off the coast of Portugal before a flight of over 3,000 kilometers to the Bermuda Islands. At that time, it was the longest non-stop overseas commercial flight in the world. The planes of the time often operated at the limit of their range, with the risk of running out of fuel in case of particularly adverse conditions, with the mainland still far away. This, of course, does not happen today because airplanes have greater autonomy. All this serves to explain why numerous incidents have occurred throughout history. But perhaps it's not enough to justify the reputation of the Cursed Triangle. By the numbers, the area of the Bermuda Triangle is as dangerous as any other area in the world. It's simply a matter of the proportion of the phenomenon. The more ships and airplanes pass through this area, the higher the historical number of incidents. In fact, nowadays, with the number of maritime incidents drastically decreasing, it can be effectively stated that the Bermuda Triangle practically no longer exists. Consider that a 2013 study conducted by the VVF on the most dangerous maritime areas in the world didn't even include it among the top 10. The Eastern Mediterranean, for example, or even the Black Sea, are considered more dangerous. Today, one of the determining factors is represented by safety regulations in the field of navigation, which can vary considerably from one country to another. The moral of the story, the Bermuda Triangle probably exists more in the world of fantastic journalism than in the world of science. With that said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video until the end. We'll see you in the next video right here on Knowledge Planet, the power of knowledge. Ah, don't forget to watch the previous episodes and stay tuned for the upcoming ones. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now. Consider us more than just a channel. We're a growing community, a family of knowledge seekers. We're on a mission, inviting you to join our growing family. We need you. Subscribe, become part of our community, share your thoughts, interact with us, a like or even dislike all count. Stay tuned, stay curious, and together we'll continue to explore the vast expanse of knowledge planet. Goodbye.